Howdy, and welcome to Ghost Stories by Dumpling Squid. Link in the description if you'd like to play. The game is completely free, uh, but I'd ask if you're able to, to please support this winter. Uh, it was available as part of the Queer Games Bundle 2021, uh, so if you supported that, you've already supported and own this winter. I would also appreciate it if you checked out the Ko-fi link in the description to help out a disabled university student. So what way is Ghost Stories? Well, apparently this year, it's your turn to listen to their tales. Normally... We're the ones telling ghost stories, but it sounds like the script may have been flipped with this one. Let's run this winter. Winter is the time for ghost stories. Oh, I, th I think I gotta click. Oh, there we go. I had a, I had a down arrow. I was trying to right arrow to, to continue. Okay, so there we are. This is a bitsy game. So you, you can tell it's made in bitsy because it's made with some bits. We can see some ghosts ahead. I know we it's probably stupid to just walk against the edge. Because cl clearly, we're here to listen to them. Not to see if any of these edges <laughs> meant anything. But, you know, you, when you have horrible gamer instincts, you, you have them. The nights are longer, you see. The ghosts need their time. Okay. Oh, okay, you're just going to follow me around? Do I gotta wait for you to be ready? Should I talk to the others? Let's talk to the others while we wait for this one. So every year, someone takes them out into the woods. Okay, are we gonna take y'all into the woods? We put together a little party? Where all the sense, feelings, warmths of the living are quieter. Okay. This year, it's your turn to listen to their tales. All right, okay, there we go. We were uh, visited by some ghosts who were telling us, hey, it's time to it's time to take us out to the woods so you can hear our tale. Um, it's cold. Mm. Don't want to eat some cold food. I can't go to sleep until I light the candles. That it's always important to light some candles before you go to bed. You know, you, you don't want to sleep in a house without a fire, a raging. It's dark and cold out there. Okay, guess we gotta find some candles to light. I I, I would assume these are the candles. It smells of pine spoke. <clears throat> pine smoke, ink-stained fingers, and a headache at the top of your spine. Well, that it was smelling pr pr pretty good until that last part. It smells of leaf smoke, dusty earth, and flaking paint. Mm, okay, okay. Oh, the I like when the ghosts become a little bit more solid. That that's fun. I I guess they're they're picking the smells that they like. It smells of meat charring, pungent herbs, and a new moon. I'm not sure. The, the new moon sounds intriguing, but I'm not sure how I feel about a meat candle. It smells of hot thorn smoke, unwashed wool, and a crowded room. Mm, yeah, the, the crowded room. Not sure how I feel about that one. Well, y'all enjoy your candles. It's a bedtime for me. You see, it's it's only unsafe to go to bed. Uh, if, uh, good night, ghosts. It's only unsafe to, to go to sleep with... A raging fire. I mean, they're just candles, but burning candles. If the candles were uh, in the fire was unintended. But clearly, you know, our friends, the ghosts, were watching the candles for us. They were handling any issues that would have happened. Now it's uh, bright out. Our friends will be a little less visible now. Uh, we, no, we can still see them. We can see them perfectly fine. No issues. I'm guessing this is like a little oven of sorts. Maybe it's just our, like, like I can see logs, but there's something on top of the logs. Uh, so just maybe our wood pile to keep us warm during this winter. Oh, what's that? There's a little shiny by the, uh, the the campfire. So the fire's gone out, but there's still a shiny here. In the summer, kids like to come here and tell scary stories and sleep under the stars. That does sound nice. And I never really got to do that as a kid. I, I only, I've only been camping like once in my life. Uh, Really missed out on the whole going outside and getting the, the ghost story experience. Uh, I missed out. Got to make up for lost time. A woodpecker ratatats loudly. You stop to look for it, but you don't see it before you get chilly. Well, I was chilly to begin with. I'm, I've also lived in Texas all my life, so I, I get cold pretty easily. You see beavers here sometimes, but no sign of them today. Those beavers are out looking for, for logs. Perhaps they could uh, come by our house. We could uh, hook them up so they can build their dams. Did I miss any other things? I just kind of kind of ran by because I, I was thinking about beavers. And, uh, you know, when you, when you think about beavers, it's hard to, hard to, to keep your task at hand. 
Some people claim if you sit still here long enough, the river spirit will come out. I don't doubt those people, but I, I waited for, for a moment. No, no river spirit today. Um, and, you know, maybe we'll come back another time uh, and check that out when we don't have a, a guest waiting for us. Perhaps perhaps that'd be the best way. It'd be rude to make our guests wait for, for me to patiently sit there and wait for the river spirit. A small stone worn smooth by the water. A small stone worn smooth by the water. The sequel. It's getting late. I should head home. Oh, yeah. we're heading home. What happens if I try to go back out while it's dark? It's getting dark. Okay, so we can't. Now that it's dark, we've been uh, we've been teleported home. Uh, we probably have to light some more candles because you know we can't go to bed without our lit candles. It smells. Uh, yeah, it's the same same smells. Should I leave an offering? Um, yes. The only offering I have is rock, so maybe maybe I shouldn't offer rock. Maybe I should see see what all the smells are. Uh, and make sure that I'm giving them the right stuff. We'll see, we'll see how the ghost reacts. Look after your sister when I'm gone is not a good thing to say to a 13-year-old, I think. I don't blame him. None of us know how to die until we've done it. That is true. I no no clue how to how to perform the act of dying. Uh, what, what was the smell? Pine smoke, ink stained fingers, and a headache at the top of your spine. I kind of wish I could read these before I had to... Well, I, I guess I can just say no. No, I don't want to uh, give you the rock. Uh, dusty Earth. I, I should have two rocks. Dusty Earth. Hey, what is rock but an earth? So, here you go. It's painful to watch a ghost be born. Painful to the watcher, I mean. What does it matter, once you're dead, to be struggling, formless, an awkward mess of a being? But the living can't help but see pain and a writhing thing. The living can't help wanting to help. I saw many. Her ghost wasn't special. She wasn't graceful, spasming from the hard earth. Truth be told, I didn't notice her at all. It smells of meat charring. Yep. I unfortunately don't have any offerings for you two. Uh, hot third smoke, unwashed wool, crowded room. Meat charring. Yeah, okay. So maybe maybe the best people to have given the, the two rocks to would have been these two ghosts. Because moon, it's a big rock. I'm not sure if, if it matters who we make our offerings to. Um, it, clearly, when we make an offering, um, good night, ghosts. When we make an offering, the ghosts will tell us a bit about themselves. Oh nope, y'all already here. Don't have to to go go a hunting. Okay, well we went we went right last time. Let's go down and see if we can figure out where the path uh, meets up. So these little shiny spots, we get like thoughts, and I guess the other things are items we can pick up for offerings. Everyone says the. The mother tree of this forest is somewhere around here, but no one can agree on which tree it is. It's never spoken to you, whichever it is. Eh. Never been spoken to a tree, unfo spoken to by a tree. I cannot remember if I've ever tried to speak to a tree. A piece of last year's wasp nest fallen down from the tree and broken. Another uh, wasp nest? Oh, that got late real fast. Oh, perhaps it. once you pick up two offerings, you, you, um, it gets late. I see. I, I see, cause it it's it's a winter thing. Okay, so we have, we have um, wasp nests. Uh, which one have used the meat? I think the top right's the meat candle. Uh, what smell do you have? It smells of hawthorn smoke, unwashed wool, and a crowded room. I mean, a beehive is a crowded room. Yeah, you can you can have a beehive. This is very much like a crowded room. You'll enjoy. Songs my twin sang to me when we took the sheep to the pasture. One, the fluffiest sheep in the whole world. Two, what are you always writing? Why won't you let me see? Three, hey diddle dee, come eat grass with me. Four, what do you do when your sister is mean to you? I probably should have did that with a bit more of a sing songy, but I didn't. Sorry. Okay, um, pine smoke, ink stained fingers. Um. The other one was Earth. Mm, I'll wait on the pine smoke. No, no offering. F oh, uh, offering for you because I pushed the wrong button. Whoops. Once, 
when she was nearly grown, I left for a week, walked to the next town over. I'm not accustomed to traveling. It took me half the time I said I'd be gone just to get there. I stayed one night at the inn and left in the morning. That night, it was just me and a serving boy and the old townsfolk who never left. The boy was my age, more or less, and he told me the town gossip and I told him things I'd made up about being a traveler, stories about places I'd never been. At the time, I thought he believed me. His eyes were dark and kind. I thought about kissing him and didn't. I can't remember his name. Damn. That's always a problem when you can't remember someone's name. It's very, it's very common in my experience. Uh, leaf smoke, dusty earth. Leaf smoke. I mean, that that might have worked for um, for B. And uh, the 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 nasty with the the gross candle. I mean, I can't say it's gross. It's just good night, ghost. The the concept of a meat candle just seems strange. Like, I guess if you could have like a sizzling, like you know, when you're cooking, when you, when you cook food, it smells good. But I, I don't know, just meat candles seems like a step too far for me. Okay, so. We cannot go back and pick up our items, so I'm I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that this game isn't like a oh you got to maximize like oh you got to give the right ghosts the best things. Um, not I mean it could be I'm not sure I don't know I guess we'll find out. A line of deer footprints in the snow leading off into denser denser not denser denser forest. Are these the yeah these these must be the deer, deer foot footprints. Let's, uh, let's go around because if is there a way to get to the left here? No. Um, before we go and explore the new area, let's go back. Um, okay, I can't go that way. <clears throat> before we, we go to the left and explore some new stuff, I wanted to see the other side of uh, this little pond. Perhaps it's a lake. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell with uh, size how relative, like how large uh, this, this area is supposed to be. Snow's melted a bit, and you see some snow fleas underneath. I don't even know what snow fleas are. I've never heard of those. Bright red berries stark against bare branches. Okay, we'll take we'll take one, since uh, I, I think we figured out if we take a second item, we immediately uh it, it, it gets late. Got to go back home. We, we can only have uh, we can only have two items. This path leads back to the village. Okay, so I can't take the ghosts this way. Okay, no ghosts in the village. So did we explore the entire area? I think there might have been a path off to the left over here. Um, that we may have not explored yet. Maybe I am. Yeah, I, I think I was wrong. I think I was imagining something over here. So we may have seen, um, oop, whoops, uh, all the areas, unless this is a a path right here. Looks like we didn't go this way. Yeah, we didn't go this way. Um, let's see what's over here. Enough magic in the air to make your hair stand on end. Yeah, it's always weird when you go outside and you get that, that feeling, you know, it's normally just, you know, in my experience, paranoia or anxiety setting in. Uh, but, you know, who knows what it could be. Maybe it is a little bit of magic. A clump of moss uh, growing on the stone. It's getting late. I should go head home. Very talented at heading home. Can get there lickety split. Okay, so we have some berries and we have some moss. Uh, the moss is probably dusty earth. Um, so let's give you some. Well, wait, moss is... Moss isn't rock. I forgot. Moss is on rock. Moss isn't rock. Um, have some rock stuff. This stuff grew on a rock. If you spend long enough in an unchanging place, you become an expert on all the things that change. The slow wear of carved marble over many rainstorms. The creeping up of ivy. The remnants of last year's leaves decaying. I like to sit on the back fence, my ghost drifting nearby, searching for deviations in her path between graves. I like to speak to her and listen to her faraway voice. I like to imagine I can hear echoes of my words in her, draw lines from my voice to hers, and string them together into a conversation. But I have spent too long in this unchanging place to fool myself for long. And... I haven't offered you anything. Oh, pun pungent herb. Well, it's a berry. berry. Berry's not herb. Berry is different than herb. But I haven't given you anything. Berries are round, shaped like moon. So, maybe you'll like that. 
The witch's cabin has been standing longer than any of the other homes in the village. So they say. It's made well, thick stones cut into even blocks by some long-forgotten hand. I wonder what it would be to build something that lasts for so long, that holds so many ages in the cracks of its walls. But a witch's art is momentary, the bringing of rain, the healing of hurts. How long will this cabin, this village, these people, how long will they remember me? Don't worry, I'm not forgetting Meat Candle Ghost anytime soon, you, you little, little weirdo. I'm going to feel so bad if meat candles are like a totally normal thing. Good night, ghosts. And we uh, wake up to face the morning with our ghosts, who, you know, they're ghosts. So, sometimes they'll, they'll sleep under you. You know, little, little, little scamps, these ghosts. Uh, so I believe we've explored everything we can see. So the only thing we can do, I guess, is bring back the things that we didn't pick up, the, the last berries um, and the, the, the other piece of moss. Uh, and maybe, maybe I'll give another one to uh, Meat Ghost since I've kind of ignored them. Um, I haven't really been keeping tally. Uh, how many times I've given... Oh, no, there's more things over here. I I guess I didn't notice this log. What's in the log? A shelf fungus. Paths chewed into it by beetles. It's getting late. I should head home. I'm, I'm, no, you're already here? Very good at that. Um, I gave you berries yesterday. So today, I'm going to give you some fungus. Even though fun fungus isn't your thing, but I've been ignoring you, so... Have a fungus. Oh, no, oh, I... For some reason, thought I was the ghost. Can I tell you a secret? I was a sloppy child, a sloppy meat loving, uh, meat loving, a uh, meat candle loving, meat loving children. Pretty common. Meat candle loving children, less common. There are few who would believe this, and fewer still who know firsthand. But it's true. It's hard for me to remember a time as a child when I wasn't dirt covered, scraped up, and causing havoc. My precision is inherited from long hours. One too many brew gone wrong. I wear it easily. After a, I wear it e easily after a lifetime. It might as well be my be my nature. Okay, now we have berries. What do you like? Uh, hot thorn smoke, unwashed wool, and a crowded room. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we've done the other two more. So have have some berries. Stories I heard on long winter nights. One, my grandfather, you know, he moved here from across the sea. He said people there have carts and plows that drive themselves. Two, the stranger who tricked the stingy old cobbler into giving him a meal. Three, did you hear the blacksmith's apprentice is in love with the graveyard keeper, but they can't get her to notice? Ooh la la, now that's the goss. Four, I saw a bear out in the woods who was as tall as a tree. That's a big old bear. That's cause for alarm. Well, I suppose we'll head to bed and, of course, say goodnight, ghosts. Okay, this may be our last night with the ghosts. because we, we only know of two offerings out there, the fungus and the moss. Moss. Different than a fungus. We all know this. We all understand this. We all know. We can all sit down and say, yes, yes. I know exactly what moss is. Moss is like, I, I know what moss is. I, I'm not saying I don't know what moss is. I'm, but, but what I am saying is... You know, what, what kind of plant is it? Um, cause I, it's that, it's like, it's like a little mushy guy. It's like mushy grass. Um, so maybe it's, maybe it's a grass of some sort, squishy grass. I'm, I, I'm gonna just, um, I'm gonna decide it's squishy grass. And I just hope that I'm not too terribly wrong about that. It's getting late. I should head home. Okay, so we have... We have moss, which we, we all know is a squishy grass, and we have um, a fungus. Um, I feel like we've done this one the most, but uh, pine smoke, ink stained fingers, and a headache at the top of your spine. Let's see. Uh, that's the moss. The other one's the fungus. Um, which one's more like pine? I suppose the fungus. The fungus was in a tree. That could have been a pine tree. The store was my father's, and his parents, and probably one of their parents before that, I didn't ask. 
I always thought once she grew up, that's when I could go. But by then, it was the whole village that needed me. Who else would know how to find them their spices, their special fabrics, parts for their tools? Interesting. You know, you, you, you have a talent, you know how to run the store, and that's, that's what you do. Okay, the last thing we have was we gave them the fungus. So we have moss. Um, you know, I've, I've given you a hard time, meat candle freak, so... Uh, you can have you can have the last offering or what I assume is the last offering. Some days the village parents send their children to help me in the garden if the weather is good and they can be spared from their lessons. Those are good days. I like to show them how to turn the soil, to share with them the names of herbs, and which ones can cure fevers, which ones soothe the mind, which ones make good soap. In the evenings, I have to disappoint their parents, though, send them home with their chil- Send them home with their children without pulling any of them aside, without whispering in any proud ears that their child has a knack for magic. I like that less, the expectant eyes, the occasional sigh, but they're good days still. I'm sorry I didn't bring either of you anything. I can only pick up two things a day before I get, uh, I get tired. Well... There you go. I'm gonna hit the hay. I've enjoyed the stories you've told me, ghosts. Good night, ghosts. Tomorrow, it'll be spring, and we'll go back to the village. Okay, and then I, 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 I pressed the arrow button to see what would happen, and I started over. So, uh, the, this is Ghost Stories. This is a neat little game. I always enjoy bitsy things and see the creative things people think to do with, like, uh, such a, not a limited tool, like, you can do a lot with bitsy, and there's a lot of, like, hacks to bitsy, but, you know, it's inherently kind of, like, bare bones if you were to compare it to, like, you know, some other, like, game engine, so it's really interesting to see the kind of creativity you get out of it, uh, and I enjoy the idea of, you know, oh, you know, I'm telling... You're gonna meet some. You're gonna meet some ghosts. You're, they're gonna tell you some ghost stories. I think it's very cool. I imagine uh, you could have a very different experience than I did. Uh, you know how I was. I was just kind of uh, walking around, picking things up, not really understanding what I was going to be doing, um, and just kind of haphazardly throwing the offerings at uh, the ghosts. Uh, you know, kind of putting a small amount of thought into it. Um, but I imagine, like, you know, if you just gave all the offerings to one ghost, perhaps you could hear different stories from them, uh, which could be interesting, uh, an interesting way to play the game. And I thought this was very cool. So maybe you want to play this winter for yourself. So this was Ghost Stories by Dumpling Squid. <laughs>